but at least you know what mic is plugged in, right? In case you have like multiple microphones connected to your, to your, to your, to your. What up techies and gamers, it's your boy Jermaine back with another video. Welcome to Tech Toys and Gaming, the channel where you can get your daily dose of technology, up to date tech for gaming, as well as some, what I like to call tech entertainment, right? Because what is technology without a little bit of fun and excitement with it, right? Otherwise, you just have stale circuitry and wires and gadgets and buttons, which can be boring. We're gonna try a mic that actually doesn't have an official name brand, right? We're gonna try and see if you can buy a low budget, right? Probably a cheap microphone uh, and still get great quality out of it, right? So um, they reached out to me and said, this mic is great, you might wanna try it. So let's test it out. Maybe I will save you lots of money on buying $100, $200 microphone when you could just use this $30 mic, right? And even with the coupon code in the link in the description, that's right, they're providing that. And getting a discount on that, I think it's like $5 off, maybe like $25 mic. You might be able to get banging quality for a bang for your buck. It all bangs. What? And the mic I'm talking about right now is, whip it up. It's the HTC, what? That's not even the name. It's the E-Hot USB condenser microphone that's right a microphone that is has no name right it just comes in as a condenser desktop microphone um comes in a package i have not even opened this up yet so we're going to take a look at what comes in the box together and see what this is actually made of and if the quality kind of uh is any good right let's jump into this see what's in the box right now i'm going to throw it up in the air and all of the parts are going to land right on the table and the count of three three two one go yeah, no, I'm not gonna be dropping microphones all over the place and wires. What's wrong with you? Let's open it up like decent people, right? Let's just open up the box and pull it out. Right in the box, you get your warranty card with the QR code. Cash in on that warranty because this has no name brand and um, you do want to make sure that, well, $30 is $30. Make sure you get your money's worth. Extended warranty in case it breaks down within, I don't know, a year's time, I believe. Set of instructions for setting up over Windows and Mac, right? This is Mac, it looks like this is compatible for both Windows and Mac. So get your fresh set of instructions in case you've never used a mic before, you would know how to set up your settings. Two cables right off the top. Um, one is a, what am I seeing here? This is USB-C to USB-C cable. Wow, um, that's shocking. I was expecting a USB cable, right? The desktop microphone, but um, USB-C to USB-C, looks pretty long too and USB-C to USB-8 for connecting to your PCs, right? So this is probably great for your Mac, your PC, and this is for probably connecting to your mobile device, right? Android phone, uh, USB-C compatible, iPad Pros 2021, 2020, 2019, I believe. Uh, yeah, USB-C to USB-C, so you can actually record directly from your microphone to an iPad, for example. That sounds quite exciting to me. Um, we'll test that out too, as a matter of fact. Now that we have that, I'm gonna bring an iPad into the mix. What else we got here? Styrofoam, awesome. Styrofoam that comes in the box. All right, let's pull out this awesome uh, little metallic stand. This has got a little weight on it, right? Nice little cute stand here. Nice little silver rim I'm looking here at the bottom. That's cool. All of it is metal completely, heavy metal. Last but not least, it's nice of them to wrap their microphone in plastic, keep that protected. Let's pull this out the plastic. And, oh, <laughs> my windshield came off with the plastic. Good to know that this does actually come with a windshield. You don't see that on the very plain and bland box itself. Uh, ooh, this is not too heavy, not too light, completely cold and metal. It feels like steel in my hand. Black matte finish, USB-C port on the bottom of this microphone. I don't know if you can see that. Quite nice. Um, interested in seeing how that sounds. Uh, I would imagine it couldn't tell the difference between USB-C and USB-A, but uh, okay. Gain knob as well as a monitoring knob on the bottom as well for monitoring live over a pair of headphones. It's mesh on the head of this mic. Uh, you, you can't see through it to see the diaphragm. It's uh, the grill is very fine, the holes themselves, so um, I wouldn't imagine you'd be able to see into that grill. Now, it does say that it does have an enhanced built-in noise cancellation feature. 
in the mic. So um, we'll test out what that sounds like with noise cancellation uh, from the mic itself and with actual software noise cancellation over OBS. So um, stand by. Now, I don't know what the actual um, support is like for this device, if you want it like online company support, um, but um, $30 goes bad. I wouldn't imagine that you could just go ahead and buy another one. I don't know, why would you buy another one if it just goes bad? You just buy another one, it goes bad, why? Let's put it through some tests, right? Let's go ahead and switch over to OBS and in the count of three, three, two, one, let's go. All right, take it easy gamers. So I went ahead and plugged it into my PC. I am now connected via OBS. So all my audio and my recording is done over OBS. So um, right now it is set to 50% gain, right? That's how it comes in out the box. I don't know if that was just by happenstance, but that's what it came in as. I'll leave it at 50% for now. It's a condenser mic, cardioid pattern. The input sample rate is 96 kilohertz. That's actually the name of it. When you plug it in, the USB mic comes in with the name 96 kilohertz USB mic. So um, it's just by default, but you can always change that. But at least you know what mic is plugged in, right? In case you have like multiple microphones connected to your, to your, to your, to your. In case you have multiple microphones connected to your PC. Let's go ahead and jump into this and see what this sounds like. Hot out the press, out the box. So on the count of three, let's make the switch. One, two, wait, before we count, I need to listen to it with you guys because I want to know what it is too. So I'm going to grab my headphones. No, let it go, Grogu. Grogu, let it go. Always wants to hold my headphones. Listen to it with the headphones. See what you guys hear. See what you guys hear, not hear what you guys hear. What am I talking about? All right, so I'm going to plug uh, directly into this monitoring, this device, right? So I can monitor it and see what the monitoring kind of sounds like, right? This is USB-C, um, I'm plugging directly so I shouldn't get any kind of delays, so it should sound in real time for the most part, right? So let's plug it in. All right, Tech Easy Gamers, so I have plugged in and this is the audio you are getting fresh out the box. No filtering, no nothing. My HVAC is going, my fans are going. It's picking up sound. I can hear it. Shh. So uh, it does have some minor built-in noise cancellation, uh, but it's definitely not going to be like extreme noise suppression. But um, uh, it sounds good right out of the box. Now, uh, my first impression, um, it's clean. It's super clean. I'm noticing that it has no hiss whatsoever, right? Very minimal if you can notice. Um, I don't notice, at least I'm not speaking directly into it. I'm a little off to the side. Um, so very low on the hiss, pop filtering. Popping Peter by the poor, by the poor. I'm so poor that I can't eat people. What? Wow, this is um, a natural pop filtering device. Um, most, if not all other microphones that I have tested, they all have that popping problem, right? Talking right in front of it, it is completely eliminating all of those popping peas um, miraculously for no name brand. Pay attention. Good on the pop filtering. Excellent on the hiss. What I will say is that it is a little bit low on the bass side, right? I don't really, not hearing a lot of bass out of this, even talking from this close. That would probably be something I'd have to filter in and make myself sound more like a man. And monitoring, of course, sounds fantastic. I can hear myself in real time, so I'm not uncomfortable talking to myself, but let's raise the gain up, see what it sounds like if I put it at full volume to make it super hot. Let's raise OBS to 100%. 100% on OBS, so it will, I can make it, ooh, there you go, I can make it clip. I can definitely make this clip if I talk really close to it like this and talk loud, yeah, okay. So I won't get distortion until I start going like that, but who does that? I feel like the diaphragm, I, can't really see it, but it's probably a smaller diaphragm than most microphones, at least smaller than the diaphragms of the other mics I've tested in the past. You can talk with this mic directly in front of your face, just like this, and it sounds great, right? Also does a great job at eliminating hiss, so you can talk with it, again, directly in front of your face, right here, about a foot away, and get still, and get still, that's not proper English, and still get awesome um, audio quality, right? Um, Professional, probably you might have to do some tweaking on your software, but um, so far so good. I can kind of hear a little bit more of the bass coming through now, now that I'm letting myself man up. What? Let's go ahead and huh, whip up a noise suppressor, right? All right, here we go. Noise filter in three, 
Two, hear that noise. Shh. Three, two, one. Suppressed. You are suppressed. <laughs> and this is the clean, crisp noise reduction you're going to get. Noise cancellation with OBS only, right? You can do this in another software, but I do it directly with OBS. You have the ability to make it uh, less of a, you know, you can monitor how much noise cancellation you want to apply to it, whether it's just a little or if it's a lot. If you want to apply a noise gate so that way the noise just goes away as you stop speaking. Hi, Taking the Gamers. I'm going to go ahead and make the switch over to my iPad utilizing the USB C to USB C cable that comes in the box with the mic, right? So, um, 71 inches, right? I don't know how long 71 inches is. Um, so, I'm basically extending my hand end to end is about as long as the cable is, right? So, um, I'm going to disconnect it from here. Connect to my iPad, do some recording that way. So we'll we'll just make the switch and I'm already preparing to snap even before. What's wrong with you? We're gonna make the switch right now in three, two, one. All right, take it to gaming. So I am now connected to my iPad using the stock camera app that comes with iPad with iOS, iPad OS. And right now my gain is pretty low. I'm going to max it out, make sure I get the full fledged volume coming out of this microphone. And I am connected by USB C to my iPad, right? USB-C, and this is what it sounds like. This is what you're going to get, the versatility of having a little $30, maybe 25, desktop microphone, entry level, right? Entry level, mid-range. How could you complain? How? This is audio without the microphone connected to the device, right? So this is the onboard iPad sound. Now we're going to switch over to the desktop mic. This is the desktop microphone, what it sounds like going straight into the iPad. Uh, I do find that the audio is lower than the onboard mics of the iPad. Um, also, the onboard mics of the iPad are picking up in stereo. This does not appear to be picking up in stereo either. What I will say as an advantage is that that noise suppression, that built-in noise suppression taking place on this device is immaculate using it over the iPad. So if you wanted to use it for recording or any kind of voiceovers using your iPad as a one-stop shop for video editing voiceovers, this, this works fantastic. I didn't have to do any type of sound suppression uh, in any software editing applications or anything. So awesome to the sausage. So Techies and Gamers, there you have it. A USB, I gotta take this off now. USB condenser cardioid microphone, good microphone. Awesome on the pop filtering, awesome on the audio levels. Um, don't even have to worry too much about clipping or peaking too much with this mic, um, causing any kind of distortion. The hiss, you don't practically get any hiss whatsoever. Um, what else? What else is going on here? I guess the diaphragm is a little small, so it's having a hard time picking up some of those deeper, heavier tones. So um, you may have to filter that in a little bit to add a little bit more bass to your sound quality. Awesome matte metallic hard metal shells, heavy metal case. Um, comes with a pop filter. I didn't even know it comes with this little windshield with it. But um, this is a nice little desktop audio device. And um, would I recommend it for $29? Right now, there's a little coupon code. You can click the link and you can get that discount. Probably like $25, I believe. Um, and you can get started if you're just a fresh new gaming channel and you just want to get started and you want some clean audio without having to bust the bank. Um, why not give this a shot? Why not give yourself an entry level? You, know, you can take this and go far with it. Give yourself an entry level start, um, maybe even mid range, right? Start if you're just trying to capture your audio and you don't need nothing super duper high quality as if you're doing podcasting or even singing. This will suffice. This will more than suffice for that purpose. You pop this guy up on one of your table arm stands, you're good to go and nobody's ever gonna even notice or complain about it. You have awesome options here with this. This is USB-C for one and for two. As you've seen, you can connect it to a mobile device, an iPad, a USB-C compatible Android phone and do recordings. All right, Tech Easy Gamers, you've been in two with Tech Toys and Gaming with Jermaine. Nice little tech entertainment video review of a microphone. And I'll see you in my next review, my next gameplay, if you even watch that kind of stuff. And we'll just let Gamer Jermaine take it out. Go ahead, Gamer Jermaine, take it out. Make sure you use this microphone when you're doing it, please. Thank you very much. Go.
Wow, that was a murder if I haven't heard one before. 